Hi, it's Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori live. I've got guests. Everything's unscripted. I don't know what's coming. I do this live. Appraisals for you. Hi, how are you? Hi. What's your first name? Where are you calling from? I actually can't hear you, but I, I don't know why, but I can. Um, okay, well, I if you can't hear, hear me. me but I know you can see me. <laughs> okay, sorry that you can't hear me. We got to make sure that everything's working. Here's my next guest. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. Hi, Dr. Lori. How are you? Good, thanks. What's your first name? Where are you calling from? Angela. I'm calling from Hatfield, New Brunswick. Nice to see you. What have you got? I've got this pendant. Okay. Can we get some of the glare out of there? Can you call it a little bit closer? Okay. Center. There you go. Right there is great. Can I see the back? So it looks like it's cast in sterling and it looks like we've got a... Okay. How'd you acquire it? I bought it at a secondhand store from a lady. Said it was in her family for years. Does, she was in her eighties. So does it have any? Does it have any marking on it? it there's looks none. Like, there's none. Okay. Usually the mark. Usually the marking is going to be around the bottom. It does look like it's sterling silver. It looks like it dates to the early years of the twentieth century, prior to 1920. Value on it about one hundred and fifty dollars. Thank you. Thanks. New Brunswick. Nice to see Canada represented. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori live. Good to be with all of you. Remember when you're looking at things like jewelry, you want to look for the marks, but you also want to look for the quality of the material. And that's what I'll help you to identify in this and other videos. So my next guest. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. Hi, how are you? I've got no audio. It's all like blah, blah, blah. I sound like you're a robot or something. Oh, I'm sorry. Gosh. All right, let's see. I'm Dr. Lori, this is Ask Dr. Lori live, free appraisals, and we're doing them right here, all unscripted. I don't know what's coming. So, my next guest. Hi. Hey, Dr. Lori. Hi, how are you? Hi. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Rowan, and I'm calling from Denver. Rowan, you really got to clean out that bookcase. That bookcase I is going to like, oh, my God. And the reason I I'll say that only because it puts undue stress on the bookcase itself, and it's not good for the books. But anyway, how are you, Rowan? Good? Doing good, other than the good. bookcase. All right, honey. Show me what you got. I have, let's see, my grandmother's wedding ring. All right. Have you had the stone tested? Have you tested the stone? Yes. It's it's a diamond. I'll, okay. I'll push it out a little so you can see them separately. Okay. So which ring are we evaluating? Well, it's the, the set is the wedding ring and uh, engagement ring. But is the, more, is the, the engagement ring. Is the ring stone, is the ring, um, is the ring marked? Is it platinum? Is it white gold? Both marked 18 karat. Okay, so it's 18 karat white gold. And then yes. you'll have to have the diamond checked by a GIA certified jeweler to give you an idea of color, clarity, carat weight in a lab with an on-site lab. But for your 18 karat gold setting, you're looking at about $500 to start for the setting. Then you're going to add the value of the, of course, diamond, which could range in value anywhere between, you know, $3,000 and six dollars or $7,000. Have okay. it checked. Thanks, Rowan. Okay. See you when it comes time. to the diamonds, you really need an on-site lab to get the evaluation. And remember, of course, a GIA certified jeweler in your area will charge you for that appraisal. So uh, be ex expect that. But make sure that the lab is on site. Most of those uh, GIA certified appraisers do have, a, a jewelers do have an on site lab. So check out the diamonds. The other way to know whether or not you have a real diamond, of course, is using the diamond tester. You know, and there are other things on the specials and shop page. Yes, I do get a, a compensation when you buy a product from the specials and shop page. Um, but basically, you want to make sure that you're testing it so you're not, you know, going in and paying for an appraisal or getting an appraisal on something that's not a diamond. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. What's your first name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Dr. Lori. It's April. I am in Omaha, Nebraska. Hi, April. I like your chest. I like the hutch behind you. That's pretty. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I got so, it for free. <laughs> for free, free is great. We love free. So tell me, what would you like me to evaluate for you today, April? I have this bowl. Hmm. It's signed on the bottom. Um, it, I think it may be Scavo because uh, it has the little white kind of. It does look like Scavo. It's gorgeous color, just gorgeous, luscious amethyst glass, beautiful and big, a wonderful statement piece. How did you acquire it? I bought it at a, a local thrift store. Um, Did you pay more than $75 for it? Page 16. It is signed. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, you said that. So you paid $16 for it? Mm -hmm. I would say value on that bowl is going to be about $125. You might even get $150 in a good market. Okay. Thanks, April. Thank you. Beautiful. That one's nice. Yeah. So again, when you're trying to identify these pieces, I want you to look at, of course, the signature, of course, the form, but I want you to look at the things that people are going to want to buy. What does that mean? They want to, they're going to want to buy the color and the form. You know, those are real, that's really a beautiful piece for $16. She did great. Don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter at drlaurieb.com. It's very easy. You go to the thumbs up free, right? that tab at the top of the website at drlaurieb.com and then just put in your email. When we send out a newsletter, you will receive it. There's nothing else you have to do other than sign up and wait for us to send out the newsletter. So lots of great information there at drlaurieb.com. So I've got my guests and here's my next guest. Hi, Dr. Laurie. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, I'm good. I'm John. I'm coming from Tennessee. Nice to see you. Uh, what have you got, John? I have a quilt. Okay. You got a spoon rest behind you. You've got a military helmet. You're a busy guy, John. <laughs> <laughs> I have How did you acquire quilt. this quilt? Uh, I got it at a secondhand shop. Wow. What made you buy the quilt, John? Because it's red, white, and blue. I got for the fourth. Oh, okay. Well, that's really cool. Is there any staining or any damage to it? Uh, I think this is sun damage. I'm not sure. But Does it look kind of like a yellowy color? Well, it, it's faded and it's tore up here. Hold on. I see it. Okay. All right. Okay. It's a beautiful quilt. It's wonderfully pieced. It's very nicely designed. It dates to the early years of the 20th century. I like the border. It's in good shape with the exception of that. So in excellent shape, value on it about $500. In the shape you've got it, I'd say 300 bucks. What did you pay? Under 100. I can't remember the exact amount. All right. So say you paid 90 to make 300. Very nice. Enjoy it, John. Thank you. Yeah, I like the quilt a lot. Wow, that's a wonder. That's a wonder. I'm proud of him because he chose it. You know, you say, oh, well, everybody chooses what they like, but that's a nice piece. And he got it for the 4th of July. That's fun. That's fun. Red, white, and blue. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Lots of information, of course, here on the channel. Here's my next guest. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. What's your first name? Where are you calling from? Uh, Teresa. I'm calling from Florida. Hi, Teresa. Hi. I have a picture of, looks like a from McConnell's Mill. Yeah. I live in Pennsylvania. And yeah. it, it looks like an original. It's by the initials WHM. Not yeah. an original. Color um, lithograph, color lithograph highlighted. And of course, one of the telltale signs is of course how sharp the line is all the way around it and how it's how it's actually um printed onto the piece of paper. It's been highlighted, so part of it's printed and part of it's highlighted. Value on your piece, how'd you acquire it? Thrift store? Thrift store, $5. $5, $5 is a little high for that. It's worth about 15. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. So nice, but I want you to look for real originals, real originals, oil on canvas. Yes, some some originals, of course, can be on paper, but you know, if you question it, when you use the loop, when you get the loop and you look really closely, you're gonna see dots or you're going to see Elements that, of course, show a mechanical production process. And that's what I want to teach you to ignore. There's certain stuff you should just leave at, at the thrift store and such. And if you want to really do well, come shopping with me. You can shop with Dr. Lori during a video call. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi, it's nice to see you. What's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm Jenny calling from Ypsilanti, Michigan. Ypsilanti? I had a friend named Danny from Ypsilanti. <laughs> When I went to school in Ann Arbor, I remember Ypsilanti very well. Yeah. So what's happening, hon? So I'm finally, I'm excited I'm backstage, but I got something. You're not backstage, you're live, you're oh, on, you're here, here you go. Okay, so. I've got this thing, I'm going to try to switch my camera around. I got it from the thrift store, actually. Okay, how much did you pay? Oh, I paid two bucks for it. Did okay, I let's see it. See if we can get it in front of the camera. I like the blue corner cupboard. That's cute. Oh, thank you. Back up, back up, back up. There you go. All right. Okay, I might have to have my, I might have to hold it rather than turn it. 
Okay. And so is it marked on the bottom and how tall is it? It's uh, made in Germany and it's about, maybe I can take the lid off. Is it a Matlock? Does it say Matlock on it? M-E-T-T-L-A-C-H? No. Huh? No. Uh, okay. So Western X. Yeah. Western Germany. That, uh, so is it three inches, four inches tall? Um, no, it's probably about five. Five inches tall. Okay. Maybe so so it's a little bit more bulbous than you might think. It's nice um, embossed cobalt ground ceramic. I would say value on that piece about $40. What'd you pay two? Yeah. It's worth 40. It's nice from the fifties. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Nice to see them right, from bye. Ypsilanti, Michigan, right? Right there near Ann Arbor. So I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Yes. If you want to take me shopping with you, you can shop with Dr. Lori on a video call. It's easy to do. It's easy to book. If you just want to have a personal conversation with me, you can book a video call as well with me, real, in the flesh, live, you know, the person. So uh, I want to make sure that you uh, know that you can do that. And you can do that through our website, drlaurieb.com. My guests are here. Everything's unscripted. And here's my next guest. Hi. Hi. Can you hold your camera horizontally, please? I was just trying to fix the screen lock. I can't get it unlocked. <laughs> okay, well, then I can't do it. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll get somebody else who can get their technology in order. Sometimes it's kind of hard, so we try, but we want to make it an e easy and comfortable experience for all of you watching, too. So hopefully she'll get her get it together. She'll figure out how to do it, and then we'll be back. Maybe she'll be able to come back. So anyway, I'm Dr. Lori. Here's my next guest, Dr. Lori Live. Hi, how are you? Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm doing all right. I hope you are, too. Thank you. I'm doing all right. So I like blue on you. It's very pretty with your tone of your skin and your hair. So where are you calling from? What's your first name? I'm calling from Seattle. My name is Danielle. Hi, Danielle. So what have we got? I have this little fish. Oh, I love those. <laughs> I love those segmented cast fish, a little turquoise. It's faux turquoise, but a little turquoise eye. Faux turquoise usually has, you know, none of the veins, if you will. So basically, when you see it and it's all of a turquoise color, sort of like her, the, the sort of like her sweatshirt, that's faux turquoise. So you want to look for that. I like this piece though. Middle part of the 20th century. And is it marked at all? Uh yes, inside it says silver on the mouth. Does it say silver? Does it say sterling? Does it say 925? What does it say? It's silver. The silver. Okay. So that piece is, of course, vermeil or basically been dipped in the gold to make it look gold, but it's actually silver, probably not sterling, probably 800 parts per thousand pure, which it's, is typically what we have with sterling. Yes. Uh, I got it on shopgoodwill.com and they said it tested for sterling. Okay. It's not marked sterling. I like it's to see a mark. Sterling. Yeah. I like to see a mark because a test hat means that there's a human involved and a human can make a mistake. So. Not to say that the test is wrong, but basically if it says, it would say sterling if it indeed was 92.5% pure. Value on that piece, about $75. What did you pay? Uh, I paid about $22 for the fish and the chain. Okay, well, the chain is different. We just did yes, the fish. Exactly. But again, the chain would have more. And I have to say, if they knew it was sterling, then they should have put the price up higher. So got to know the market. That's what we do. I evaluate the whole market, not just what the, what pieces are selling for in the lowest common denominator sites, but the whole market. So all my values are based on actual retail values, right? Where something has sold, not just, oh, somebody said it was worth this or, oh, I bought it from that actual retail values. And of course, 25 years of experience with a PhD in the field. So my guests are here. It's great to have all of you watching too. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live, where I do live appraisals. I don't know what's coming and I evaluate pieces. You can ask me here, or you can of course ask in the comments as well. Thank you for the super chats and the super stickers. It helps to support the channel. For those of you who are getting the appraisals, we appreciate your super chats and super stickers as well. Hi. Hi, Dr. Lori, how are no, you? I'm fine. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Autumn. I'm calling from So Autumn, do you have a couple cats? <laughs> I do. I have, this is Nala up here. This is her throne. Just a couple of cats, right? Yeah. Do they yeah. roam around a lot? I never had cats. So do they roam around a lot? Do they really like that sort of apartment building that's the scratching yes. holes? Oh, oh they do. Love it. Completely uh, love it. <laughs> well, how fun. I like it near the sunshine. That's nice. They get to sleep oh, yeah. in the sunshine. Be good to, it. it would be good to have a cat's life. They seem like they have a pretty good time. Right. I would love to be a cat. Just, yeah. you know, hang yeah. out all day, eat some food. 
They're so nice and soft too. Pretty pet. Yeah. Pretty pet. Oh, yeah. What can I look at for you today? I have this. I got it at a Savers. I paid fifteen dollars. Let me get behind it so you can actually see it. Okay, just before we see the frame, the frame is of course uh, mid twentieth century. Right, right. I figured okay. the frame seems pretty new. Okay. Yeah, the frame's like you know sixties, seventies. Right. And it looks like an Asian landscape to me. Yeah, it doesn't have a signature or anything like that, and I can show you the mm -hmm. back here. Okay, it's kind of heavy for you. A little heavy. It's quite take large. Time. Twenty by thirty on this site. But the Twenty by thirty. Okay. I have to take these headphones off a moment. Forgive me. It's quite big. <laughs> okay. April, I don't think your piece is Murano at that value. If your piece is signed in that way and you think it's Murano, which that signature could be Murano, it's worth a little bit more. That's answering April's question from the last. She didn't show me that. Oh, okay. All Forgive right. okay. me. I've got so, a dog oh, color, here in the way. So, so color lithographic print is what you have, right? Okay. And you can see that it was framed in the 19, late 1960s by the manner in which you have the dust screen and all those striations in the dust screen. I would say value on this piece, just about $100. What did you okay. pay? I paid 15 for it. Yeah, 15. It's worth about 100. It's nice. It's going to it's going to support a wall, you know, it's going to take <laughs> care of a big wall there. Nice Can to I see ask you. Thanks for calling. Kind oh. of uh, just so I know like in the future future reference. Um yeah. I didn't see with the loop any any like dots or mechanical print evidence. Um so I guess I, I'm kind of curious. Well, an offset lithograph, an offset lithography would not have dots. They would actually look like strokes, which I talk about the right. difference in that in another video, what to right. look for. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Just because you don't see those dots doesn't mean that it's not a color lithograph. That's lithography as well. Right. So it is a Sometimes called a colotype, not to confuse the issue, but okay. sometimes okay. called a colotype, which is an inexpensive kind of poster. Right. Okay. okay. Thanks Perfect. for asking the question. Bye, Kitty yeah, Cat. Thank you so much. She <laughs> says bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, always ask the question. I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to do that as well. So uh, a couple of different things also. Remember, uh, when you're doing when you're doing Ask Dr. Lori Live, I want to know about you too. So thanks for being with me. This is, I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. I've got my guest. Everything's unscripted. And here's my next one. Hi, I'm Patty. Hi. Hi, Patty. I have this set of McDonald's Thai Beanie Babies that are in mint condition, no creases on the card or yellowing of the plastic. So do you have Aaron and Britannia, Maple and Glory? Yes, I actually have okay. two sets of them. Okay, let's see one set. So one set of four, pretty typical, and there's a lot of elements that have to be done. I did an interview just yesterday for um, a newspaper, well, an online uh, site that wanted to know all that I could tell them about Beanie Babies. And I said, you need to go to my website at drlorev.com and you need to watch the videos here about it because as the authority with Beanie Babies appraisals, I can tell you a lot about Beanie Babies. Can you show me the back of this? There's gonna be a slit in the back where two doors actually open. We gotta make sure that that hasn't been creased. So on the side, it looks like it has not been open, but each side looks like that there is a formed crease. Can I see that in each one? That one looks a little better than the first one, but you can see that that one's pushing as well. Sometimes the, the animal actually starts to push it forward. Okay. And, when, and the idea of having a collection of Beanie Babies is important. That's the worst of the four. That one looks like it's going to almost open. So that's going to impact value. Typically in, in excellent condition, it's going to matter with the tags and the creases. It's going to matter whether or not there's any yellowing to the packages and such. These are pretty common in the market today. They range in value between $100 and $150 for the set, depending on many factors, which we won't go into all of them today, but depending on many factors, that's where you are. So remember, if you're going to keep them, I want you to keep them out of direct sunlight. I want to make sure that you don't open them and make sure that if you are thinking of selling them right now, you've got a flooded market with Beanie Babies. But again, if you're thinking of selling them, they typically sell best around holiday time. Perfect. Thank you. My pleasure. Happy to help. So a lot of different criteria that you look for and different criteria from those McDonald's set ones in the packages than a typical Beanie Baby or a Beanie Buddy or a Teeny Beanie, all different kinds. But there's a lot to know when it comes to Beanie Babies. And I'll tell you a lot about that at drlorev.com. Go to the website, go up to our search magnifying glass and just type in Beanie Babies. You're going to find out 
how to sell them. You're going to find out which ones are most valuable. You're going to find out about classifications. What do the tags really mean? Those kinds of things. Errors. I talk about all that stuff on the website. So check it out. My next guest, I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Where are you calling from, hon? My name's Charity. I'm calling from Ohio. Hi, Charity. Nice to meet you. Nice what to have you got, hon? I have a ring. A ring. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a big statement ring. Looks yeah. like a ring that's probably Navajo, Native American. Mm -hmm. And it has, oh, of course. And it has, uh, again, the... Um, the bird form, basically the figural form, and it's got some black onyx and looks like mother of pearl and it looks mm -hmm. like some turquoise as well, uh, some red coral at the top. It yes. is, in, is it set in sterling? Does it say sterling on the back? Is it marked? It does not say anything. Do you like big rings? I like a big ring. I like a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. It's a little too big for you? Yeah. How'd you acquire it? At an auction. At online. an auction. How much did you pay? I got three rings for twenty dollars. So let's say that one ring is I don't know eight bucks. Mm -hmm. Eight, eight, and eight would be sixteen, twenty-four. Okay, maybe that's a little one. Maybe seven, seven bucks each. Yeah, yeah. Division is not my strong suit. Anyway, <laughs> I hate math actually. So that basically that piece would probably be about seven dollars and value on it about one hundred and fifty. Okay, great. Nice. Thank, thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Anytime you have an opportunity to buy more than one piece of jewelry together, jewelry bag, blue box from Goodwill, whatever it might be, Ziploc bag full of jewelry, it's usually a pretty good deal. Um, and I've helped a lot of people identify those valuable pieces of jewelry, in fact, and find out what they're really worth once you've sorted them out. Everybody loves the treasure hunt, right? I love the treasure hunt. Everybody loves the treasure hunt and going through all the jewelry. All right. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. What fun it is seeing your objects. Thanks for participating with me. And thank you for the super chats and the super stickers, which help to support this channel. I appreciate that again uh, as well. So thanks so much for that. I'm so glad that you're having fun with your Etsy shop. I'm so glad that the channel here is helping you. You know, who else does free appraisals for you? Nobody. I want you to learn so you can succeed. All positive here. A lot of things happening right here. It's nice to see all of you supporting the channel and talking to one another too. And I'm happy to talk to you and my next guest. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, good afternoon, Dr. Lori. My name is Megan Taylor, and I'm calling from Salt Lake City, Utah. Hi, Megan. Nice to see you. I like Salt Lake. It's a beautiful city. It is. Yeah, yeah it really is. Nice to see you. Nice How can I help you today? What have you got? I've got a set of my grandparents' um, silver. Okay. Um, so in a silver box. Flatware. 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 Can listen. you hold up a fork or a spoon for us? Yeah. I don't want you to hold that big heavy box because, you know, st sterling flatware is going to be heavy. Shoot. <laughs> You're doing fine. You're doing fine, hon. Go toward your body. Go toward your body, in front of your body. There you go. There you go. Okay, it's a nice set. It's a nice pattern. Nice and classic. I like the pattern. I like simple. I don't like too much frou-frou. That's, right. very, that's very pretty. Is it marked on the back? It might have a maker's mark. It might have a date stamp. It might say sterling. What does it say on the back of that fork? Sure. Let me take a quick look. It does say sterling. Good. And it, its mark is um, like a, sign? a W for Wallace or a G for Gor or Gorham or Mo Mogensen. Okay, so it well it could be many different makers. So, do you have a do you have a service for 12, 12 forks, 12 knives, 12 teaspoons? And 10. 10. 10. Okay, 10. So, 10 of all 10 of each. 10 was one of those things you saw in the 1950s and 60s. A lot of people didn't need 8, you know, didn't need 12, that kind of thing. 8 wasn't enough, 12 was was too much. There's some movie where this example is, oh, it might be Sleepless in Seattle. You know, 10 is too much when they're doing the China. Anyway, value on your set with the box. The box is worth about $60 and the value of the set about $1,800. So call it $1,850, $1,860. Why? The, the pattern is very nice and it's classic. It's of all different time periods. Yours, of course, dates to the mid 20th century. You have uh, more than a service for eight, which usually bumps it up above $1,500 for good sterling. And you have the box as well. Very nice. Thanks for sharing it with us. That was a great one. Great. A lot of folks don't realize how much sterling silver can be uh, valued at. A lot of people say, well, I'm not going to use a sterling silver flatware set. I don't entertain that much. Well, 
and then they're very quick to say, I'm going to melt it down. I suggest you don't melt it down. You'll do better because if you don't melt it down, why is that? Well, there's certain things you say, oh, well, it's only a little piece. Maybe I'll melt it down. But when you have a whole flatware service like that, it's a good idea to maintain it because you're maintaining its value as an antique or a vintage piece. There's value in the fact that it's just hung around so long. And also you are... Um, keeping the value of the style or the design of it. That's also important too. I have a large Wallace Nutting picture called the swimming hole. I'd like to have it appraised. Okay, so have me appraise it. You can do a video call. You can do um, any type of, you can send a photo in to the website. It's very simple to do. Go to the website, drlauriev.com. It says find values. And then it says send a photo. And then you just follow the directions. You send a photo. You can do it that way too, whatever you want to do. Um, you can always start at our specials and shopping page on the website. It's easy to find. Just go to, if you're on a smartphone, go to the hamburger menu and then just go to specials and shop. But it's very easy to find all of the services right there. If you want a video call, I could do that too. Hi, my next guest. I'm Dr. Lori. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Dr. Lori. I'm Alex. I'm calling from Houston. Hey, Alex. How's it going? It's going well. I've got hey, a... Hey, your plant is not dead. All I I kill every plant. Is that your plant? Is that you're doing? Ah, uh, it is. I, I'm a, I'm kind of a, a kind of a, uh, a dork when it comes to plants. So. Got a green thumb, huh? I do, I do, I do. Good for you, Alex. Well, nice to see you. Are you enjoying the channel? Oh, I love it. It's so much fun. It's learning so much, and it's helped me uh, kind of navigate through different antique stores online, different books. It's been so much fun. Thank you. Great. I'm so glad it's fun. I'm happy to help. This is great. So tell me what you got. How can I help you? I think I might have a Sev trinket box. You um, might have a Sev trinket box. Maybe. Maybe. It might. Could be. So can you hold I'm it up? Sure. So it's... it's there you it's go. That's good. Oh. Um, and then inside, I'll show you the inside, and then I'll show you the mark. So, and then here's the mark. So, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. so I, I know it's really a Sev mark, but anyway. Um, but it's, yeah. uh, anyway, um, it, it has like a kind of. Hold it there and stop moving it. Guys okay. like to move everything. No, I don't care about the mark. Show me the front. Okay. Show me the top, honey. The mark is right. It is Sev's. It dates to about 1815 to 1835 and value on it about $325. Terrific. Great. What did you pay? $100. Excellent. Good for you. Good right. for you. Where did you buy it? Uh, online at eBay. Online at eBay. Okay, great. Yeah. Seven Mark. It's those two L for Limoges interlaced um, L letters. And then sometimes there's another mark inside. It's usually blue. Yours is relatively small. Open up that inside. Let me show you what to look for. You see the... Oh, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. You're making me nervous. <laughs> All right. You see the you see the inside right here where the, the actual where the hinge comes together and you see all of the element there of the metal where yeah. the metal actually meets the ceramic helps you to date it. So that's not going to look perfect, guys. Not going to look perfect. But that's why we know that it is early to mid 20 early to mid 19th century. Good for you, kiddo. Nice perfect. to see you, Alan. Thanks so much, Dr. Lori. Yeah. Keep those plants growing, too. So he's got an eye for antiques and plants. Good for him. <laughs> Anyway, nice to see all of you. I want you to know what to look for because, you know, it's expertise and years in. So I want to see that. My hair does not look great. It's been very, very humid. I don't think it looks great, but you're nice to pay me some compliments. I'm trying with my hair. Uh, but again, I think I need like someone regularly <laughs> to just fix it for me. It's a lot of work. There's a lot of hair, but I got, can't complain. Uh, anyway, uh, the ring and bracelet that I am wearing today. Today I am wearing a ring and bracelet that was actually a gift to me from one of my students. So as you know, I taught at university for a long time. And when I left university teaching, one of my students was, was a, became, had become in her career a jewelry designer. And she actually made me a set because she knows that I like jewelry. So it was very, very kind of her. She's a sweetheart and uh, very talented jewelry designer, one of my art history students. So I've been blessed for a long, long time. Anyway, that's what it is. Oh, they're sea urchins. If you're wondering what they are, they're sea urchins and they're cast. One of the things that I like people to know, and I'm going to talk about um, sterling silver jewelry in an upcoming video, but one of the things that I, more so than I have already, uh, but one of the things that I like people to know is the difference between some custom pieces and what happens with a custom piece w versus something else. But thank you for asking about the jewelry. Um, that, that set was just something. Uh, some of the other pieces, of course, are not always real. This set is real. Uh, real versus costume. Hi. What's your hey, name? Dr. Where are you calling Lori. from? I'm Dr. Lori. 
Hi, Dr. But then I need your I need your baby out of the shot, honey. I'm sorry. There we go. I apologize. Um, nice to see them. I hope they're they're well. And how did you acquire this painting? I actually got it at a flea market, and I was about thirteen bucks. Right, well, it was fifteen, but I I put it down to thirteen bucks. And it's super big. It's about three by four. Okay, get yourself out of the camera and show me just the painting. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. All right. So so we've got that painting. I'm going to need to see the back of it. Maybe we're going to have to come back to him when he gets um, when he gets uh, his his infant out of the shot. I'm sorry. All right. Well, oh, there we go. We're back. Okay. Oh, okay. So now you see that that one support bar, right? So that yes. piece dates to the 1950s, a single support bar, probably a piece that's um, made for tourists. And I would say, what, how big did you say it was? Four. Three by four three. feet with the frame. Yeah. You're probably looking at $250 with another 50. I'd go $300 including the frame. Thank you very much. Thank I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. I'll see you next time.